tonight, or at least started, given that? Uh, you know what? The, the game itself, the start of the game was fast. It was, um, it was going back and forth. I think we only had maybe one or two whistles in the first 11 or 12 minutes, so there was a lot of pace to it. They're a quick team. They forced us to play on our toes. Um, did morning uh, skates yesterday and today have anything to do with it? I'm not too sure. I wouldn't put a lot of credence into that. Um, but the fact was that, that it was there was some pace to that game, and um, yet not a lot of chances either way. You really had to work to get to the net and, and create anything. Uh, you had to take advantage of the opportunities you got. I thought we did that in the two-on-one, the, the breakaway in overtime with Connor converting on both. Um, a good test for some of our players. Our game management um, skills have to improve. Um, I think a lot. We've got to understand situations. We've got to know when players are tired, not tired. Um, you know, those, those parts of the game that are really, really important um, are often the last to come. You've got to get rid of those summer hockey habits, and um, we're working on it. What did you think of Miko Koskinen's play tonight? I thought Miko, that was his best game. Um, you know, he started off very shaky in Calgary, got better uh, in Winnipeg, his first home game here. He was, was very good. Even the first goal, you know, you'd say, geez, it'd be nice if he could have had that one. His, there was a skate that came up and made contact with his pad. He couldn't get it down on the ice. That's why it goes through. Uh, but he made some big saves. Uh, when we made some errors, he was there and uh, used his size and his strength to, to his advantage on a couple of the jam plays. So. Uh, he looked good. Uh, Ethan Bear's game tonight, did he just confuse the issue more for you for the sixth defense spot or the seventh defense spot? Well, him and I thought him and Garrison had a real good night again. Um, Ethan's done a lot of good things, and, uh, you know, he's, he's met our expectations. Uh, we'll have to make some decisions as we go forward now. Um, Garrison as well. Garrison doesn't get himself into a lot of trouble. And... Uh, Makes good, smart plays. His teammates uh, like having him around. So uh, our organization has some, stu some tough decisions to make uh, over the next uh, 48 hours. We've talked a lot about you know, Ty Ratty and people playing around Connor, but maybe can you just address where Connor's game seems to be at right now? Um, you see him before the game during the anthem looking like he's as focused as a, he would have been before a playoff game. Just what are you sensing from him and the way he's approaching this preseason? I sense uh, um, responsibility. He's responsible for the group. He's presenting himself to the group as ready to go, trying to do things right, not cut corners or cheat. Um, it's, uh, it's impressive at this point. I think he's doing a lot of things right. Um, his game is uh, its always elite. And he's getting rewarded offensively, defensively for it. So uh, I like him leading our group right now.